Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making the world's darkest clothing. In my previous video, I showed you a new material called IR flock sheet. Now it's not a paint, but it's something they call a flock sheet. It's kind of like this velvety material that comes on a roll. Look how black this is. Okay, now this stuff is black. Look at this. This is an amazing fabric that absorbs over 99.75% of visible light. That means that it's actually darker than Musso Black. And not only does it absorb visible light, but it actually absorbs over 99.5% of infrared light as well. But the coolest thing about this IR flock sheet is that it's actually a material. So that means that you could turn it into clothing. So all I need to do now is grab myself a pair of pants and a sweatshirt for a pattern, and then I'll turn this into the world's darkest clothing. And it turns out that I have a little known skill that I use to pay my way through college. I can sew. First, I need to make the pattern. So I just have a pair of pants here and I'm gonna trace out the legs for it. There should be four different pieces and then sew those together. So let's get these cut out. Okay, so I have my fabric cut out here. This is the dark black side. This is the not dark side. So this will be the inside of the pants. This is what real engineers do. Get down to the nitty gritty sewing. Okay, we're now on the shirt, doing the sleeves to the middle of the shirt now. All right, so I'm gonna try on the outfit now. I'm gonna try it in broad daylight, and then I'm gonna try it in nighttime and see what it looks like. And then I'll try it with the lights completely off and see what it looks like on an infrared camera. Look at that, look at those seams. That looks- That's quality work. That is quality work. Okay, wait. <laughs> wait, I might have them on backwards. <laughs> It's really tight in the crotch. Hey, I think that's the front. It's tight either way. <laughs> it actually fit pretty good. Do a full turnaround. Now for the shirt. This actually turned out way better than I thought it was going to. I did not think that I was gonna actually be able to sew a full sweatshirt and pants that actually fit me but it like fits perfect. It's just not stretchy material, so it's a little stiff, but it's awesome. Look at this. You can also add a face mask to it to cover up some of the skin on your face. Also, you can put foot covers on it as well. Okay, we're out here in broad daylight now. You can see that it's still really dark. This is only reflecting 0.25% of the light that hits it. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we are out in the night with a flashlight shined on me. Now we're gonna test my outfit standing in front of what's called a VL flock sheet. Now this sheet absorbs visible light really well, but it doesn't absorb infrared light like my outfit does. So you can see that when we have regular light on, you can't see me very well with the background. 
but as soon as we turn the light off and only illuminate it with infrared light, the background is illuminated with a slight grayish color, but my outfit remains completely black. That's because it's absorbing all of the infrared light that the camera is giving off, and you can't see any light reflected back, but the background does reflect it. And also, if you shine an array of infrared lasers, you can see how the outfit doesn't reflect any of the infrared light, but the background does, and the room around it does as well. So it doesn't matter what the light is, whether it's visible or infrared light, this is still the blackest outfit there is. Although I do know how to sew somewhat, the only way I was actually able to make this was through the help of my own mom, also known as Mama O. Wait a sec. So this is the so your this is the top. Sew the top first. It's, yeah, is it a little bit longer than the bottom one? No, the bottom's actually longer. So send some love to my mom for helping me make this awesome outfit. She actually has a vlog. I put the link in the description below. You can go check it out. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, and you can also hit the bell so that you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out theactionlab.com if you haven't yet to see the Action Lab experiment boxes and my experiment book as well. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.